So in this video I'll try to find out what's going on behind the scenes of the very popular but most boring flipper hack I can think of, uh, opening the Tesla charging hatch. So I recently made a short video about this where I claimed that this must be the most useless flipper hack because you cannot do anything besides either pranking your Tesla driving friend or messing around with the cars of other people. And that is of course something that you should not do. So I was more interested in finding out why this is technically possible. Why would t Tesla make it uh, possible to open the hatch using a completely open and encrypted wireless signal? I mean, all other functions from the phone or the key fob or NFC card are made using some sort of security measure measures. So let's start to have a look into the different ways to e either unlock or lock a Tesla. So you can either use the NFC Tesla key card. You can use the key fob. You can use the phone as a key using Bluetooth via the uh, smartphone, uh, the Tesla smartphone app. This also works via remote, via cellular uh, data. Um, or you can use uh, third party keys, even such as uh, NFC ring and so on. So there are many ways of, of entering and, and closing the car and they have all some kind of security measures uh, about them. So what about the charging port? Well, you can actually use the uh, key fob. You can press the trunk button of the key fob that will open the uh, charging hatch. Um, this is not very common because we have a lot of Teslas in Norway, but nobody I know have bought this key fob because you simply don't need it. So you can also tap the charger hatch icon inside the Tesla app that will open or close the, the hatch you can tap the uh, the icon inside the big screen uh, or you can actually use voice commands inside the vehicle as well uh, and even a simpler solution that is just to press the charger hatch itself that will open it but finally you can press the button on the tesla charging handle at the supercharger uh, charging stations so it has a button that will open the hatch. So I concluded that this must be the solution. Let's try to see what we can find out, what kind of signals this charger handle sends out. So here I am at the Tesla charging station and I brought my flipper and pressing the button, it doesn't actually give any signal. And that was a bit frustrating. I thought it must be something wrong. I went to a second one again, pressing the button, having the flipper beside me it didn't give any signal and I thought this was quite strange so so I got my hands on a charging cable compatible for uh, a Tesla and this is not even connected this is this is the part going into the wall uh, outlet and this is the part going into the car so here I am with this uh, charging handle and this is not even connected and that is it still works about these wireless signals and that is probably because there are some some uh, rechargeable battery or maybe a capacitor or something inside this handle so it's not even connected but it will send out a signal let's go to the flipper and first of all make sure that you have the correct frequency um, I use the 433.92 which is, which is the European uh, normal frequency for this and about the pop modulation um, AM650 seems to be the correct one when communicating with Teslas so I'll just keep that and let's go into record and record it and let's let's press the button now and see well we have a, a weak signal i'm trying to move it further away now i'm like 20 centimeters eight inches away it doesn't even show coming back closer it's a signal again and when i'm so close that, that they are almost connecting here we have a proper signal so the conclusion is that yeah these uh, charging handles are completely open in the communication to the tesla because uh, all of them need to be able to open uh, any car uh, if it was encrypted or paired to a specific car of course that could not be possible but that is also the reason for having these signals as very weak because it should only be possible to open the car just in front of you with a couple of inches uh, and of course if you are recording that and replaying it on the flipper zero it will replay in a much stronger signal so that it will be able you're able to open all universal charging hatches on a tesla 
in the nearby area. So this is uh, what I learned from uh, fooling around with my flipper. Uh, and I think this is uh, one of the great things about the flipper that it gets you to learn a lot of new stuff that I didn't know before uh, just by playing around and uh, finding out what's going on behind the scenes.